slider uh, has an internal position memory. It means that any time during operation it knows where the trolley is. And in order to make it work properly, uh, the slider has to be calibrated. The basic calibration assumes that you turn on the slider uh, with the trolley uh, parked at the start of the truck. There is also a custom calibration mode which allows you to limit the working truck uh, parts. So, for example, if you have 2 meter slider and want to work only on 1 meter in the middle, it is also possible. So, you start the calibration in one point, uh, move the slider to another, and uh, it learns that this is the working truck that uh, you want to operate with. Basically, in the video mode, uh, you can control a slider using the analog joystick and two different dials. The first one is used to adjust the maximum speed of the trolley, uh, whereas the second is used to adjust the acceleration and the deceleration. Moreover, the slider is featured with the auto brake system. Uh, basically, even if you hold the, the joystick, when it reaches the end of the track, it will stop automatically. The acceleration and deceleration dial allows you to control uh, how fluently the motion starts and stops. This is the highest setting of the speed as well as uh, speed damping. You can see that uh, when I release the joystick, it takes a while for the trolley to stop. I can also adjust the maximum speed during the slide. The second major feature of uh, the video mode is motion recording and playback capability. The capacity of uh, memory uh, allows you to record about 80 seconds of motion and then play it back. The memory is persistent. It means that even if you disconnect power and connect it back, uh, the data won't be lost. A very useful feature is uh, that you can set the home position prior to starting recording and then uh, at any time you can get back to this home position uh, to be sure that your playback starts each time exactly from the same point. This is very useful for special effects and compositing. I will record about 30 seconds of motion and then play it back. The data has been saved and uh, the recording ended at the different posi position from, uh, from the starting one. So I'll use the go home feature now to return to starting position. The trolley has parked and let's start the playback now. Another great feature within the motion recording option is that uh, you can use the speed divider to slow down the playback significantly. It means that uh, you can take this uh, 60 seconds of, uh, of recorded motion and play it back over a few hours. This is very useful for shooting time-lapse and uh, in this case uh, you will need to use external in intervalometer.